What up guys, Doc Holidays here with another video on Ultimate Ninja. So today it's gonna, it's gonna be like a mosh of just a bunch of recommendations and things people wanted me to say and explain uh, through my Discord channel, which please guys, I'll put the link in the description. Join the Discord channel. We've got a great community. You know, it's just, you know, the whole vibe of the Discord's great. We got a lot of people in there talking and chatting and answering questions and having a good time. So, you know, put the link in the description. Um, so first off, you know, there's a lot of new things going on with the game. Okay, so, you know, they added ceiling to tailed beasts. They also added, you know, the Tenmai. Uh... All that junk. They added a new level of uh, prey to paths. So, you know, I'm going to kind of explain that before I get into the questions that I got asked through the Discord. So, uh, right. So, first off, Tenmai. I don't really have anybody too high of Tenmai. I think the highest I have is Naruto. Um, but Tenmai basically... It gives you a boatload of HP. And, you know, like I said, my Tenmai, I haven't really been working on it because I've been doing other things with the game. But trust me when I say when you're a beginner, save up your knowledge. And that main character that you're going to be playing, you you should definitely get your Tenmai up a lot. Because, you know, that, that extra HP really does a lot for you. We got a couple guys in the... Discord that, you know, has like plus 70, which is like 280,000 plus HP just from Tenmai, which is nuts. It's just bazonkers. What you do to get Tenmai is you go to the event dungeon and you go down to Devil Training, which I've already done mine for today, and you get Destiny Stones. Obviously, there's different ranks, and, you know, if you're not as strong as some people, you definitely should start up top, and then when you get down to the bottom, you know, you'll get 30, 20, and then 10. So, yeah. On to the next thing, sealing, sealing your tailed beasts. Now, I did this. My tailed beasts aren't that high, so don't pay it no mind, because I obviously don't do that either, even though I should. And I highly recommend leveling up your tail beasts when you get one. Shikaku, you know, you should be leveling up these guys. Reason why is for ceiling. Now, when I say ceiling, you know, yes, you can put it to a character. You can put it to any character you want. Here's the thing, though. This is good. I did a, um, so I basically sealed Shikaku at level 2. And I did a, uh, basically like just a, uh, experiment and I saw if, if I were to level up Shikaku does it level up him when he's sealed and that's with all that's with all your tailed beasts and the answer is yes if you have a beast sealed to someone you can still level him up and it level him up you don't have to unseal him and then level him up you can keep him sealed and still level him up and that is with all the tailed beasts okay right round two <laughs> best way to spend gold and why to save it as you can see I have 3,000 that really isn't that much I had you know 15,000 at one point saved up why to save it all right you go to events and you go down here and it says spend 2,000 coins, 5,000 coins, 20,000 coins, right? And there should be, I guess this event does not have the 15 or the 20,000. But 15,000 and 25,000 coins usually gives you a gear weapon of some sort for that character's event. So if it was Itachi, you would get the, the, the Kuska Blade or whatever it's called. Um, or his, his ring. But it's nice to spend the cash because you get knowledge, which I'll talk about in a minute. And you can also get, I think it's a thousand destiny stones, which is a lot. And it really can help you upgrade your character a lot in the Tenmai. So I, you know, that is the main reason to save. Now people ask me, okay, well, I'm just going to spend it on lab. Well, for people who don't know this, if you do spend money on the game, 
I highly recommend getting to at least VIP3 because then you open up the lab. Here's the thing though is the lab really isn't worth it if you have to do it more than I would say two times because once you get past two times you know you can spend your gold on golden chests and keys and that is totally worth it because you can get your Jonin gear and you also have the opportunity to get a rare item like I got this gold lightning fist out of a golden chest yes you can get golden items for characters out of a chest a golden chest so if people if you know if you didn't know that it is true I got this out of a golden chest so I'm gonna say this one more time you can get character items in gold out of a golden chest okay the other thing I need to talk about is advanced assigns so to do advanced assigns you click your check information your check formation so you click that and then you top right hand corner you have bond and advanced signs you click advanced assigns now when you do your advanced designs you need knowledge that's that top right little emblem right there is knowledge now there's two different places you can upgrade as you can see saw or let's go to my Minato he has three see different people have different amounts that they can do you know anyways Minato I have him at blue so I upgrade his blue when I can here's the thing though is you don't want to have a character in red but be upgrading his blue that's pointless so if a character is blue you upgrade his blue and that's when you have people that have the two so my Minato has ninjutsu attack and dodge right my Naruto I upgrade his red and it just gives him more ninjutsu attack so he doesn't have two on red but that really doesn't matter another thing is bonds Bonds are really important, guys. Really important. So right now I have 1.1 million. Well, 1.1 million with 70,000 uh, power. So I'm going to do this just to give you guys an example. Discard. 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 I want you guys to see how much these bonds matter. Now I still have 20 bonds because of pets and all that, but look how much it went down. So it goes down 30,000 just from my bonds that I just, and I still have 20 bonds I can release. So I'll go down 100,000 power just from my bonds. That's how important bonds are, guys. Now, when doing bonds here, you need to choose people who are in your your team so you can't you can't do you know if I let's just say my five-star Neji you know which I don't have a five-star Neji I wish I did but um, basically what happens is is you uh, which I can discard him basic I'll do this later basically if I have well guy sensei I don't have him in right now and if I put Kakashi in the bond system with with um, Guy Sensei, it's not going to give me a bond. He has to be inside the Combat Ninja bond effect. It has to be one of these six players for the bond to be active. And then on top of that, any other teammates need to be outside or inside the bond area to get the bond. And you have to have all of them. Now, to look at bond, you go to bond effect right here at the bottom right or bottom middle. You press that and you see what bonds people have. And that's how you get more bonds. Here's the thing also is you go to loot treasure and you go to fight top left corner. Now here you have your pets. Your pets also give you bonds. So it is good to upgrade your pets. I mean really good guys. I mean I suggest getting your gold pets and equip them to get the bonds for the characters inside your team. You do not want to put, you want to fill up as many as you can with the players you have. But, let's just, for example, the salamander right here gives me a thousand HP, but it doesn't give me a bond effect for any of my players. 
that's okay because it gives me a fight bonus, which I still receive. I just don't get a bond with any of my characters with the Salamander because I don't have a bond-capable character. I only recommend doing this if you don't have, if you run out of space um, where you don't have enough characters with bonds. That's the only time I would suggest putting in different pets. Um, another thing that, you know, I've been asked is ways to assemble your team. Honestly, ways to assemble your team and what are good characters, Doc, or how do I do this, Doc? Oh, I have my Minato in red, Doc, instead of blue. What do I do? My Sasuke's in red, and you have it in yellow. Like, what's the best thing for me? Like, what do I do? At this point in the game, everything, it really, in my opinion, doesn't matter. I mean, obviously you don't want to put, you know, Minato in the back and just get HP because his 12,000 HP, Jesus Christ. But, um... His dodge is crazy OP, so I keep mine in front. But, you know, there are people that have Sasuke, or not Sasuke, but, um, what's his face? Uh, Minato in red, and he, what just happened? He does really well in red as well. So, you know, like I said, it, it's a personal opinion. What do you want? That's what it's about, you know. People also ask me what good characters are right now. I'm going to be real with you. A lot of the characters are really good right now, okay. There aren't any characters that are more overpowered than the next. You know, yes, it's good to have your Minato. Yes, it's good to have your Sasuke and Itachi and Naruto. Freaking, you know, the Raikages are pretty OP right now. Killer B is, you know, pretty good as well, you know, uh... Kakashi. I've seen some Kakashis in Arena that are literally the most OP thing on the planet. Like, totally one-shots me, right? Anyone is good if you upgrade them right, okay? You want to do your refines. You want to keep that going. You know, you don't want to just stop at one like I did. You want to get your three refines for your gear. You want to make sure that your gear is good gear for your guys. So, you know, my, my Naruto, I have... Or, that's Gara, but... Um, my Naruto, I have three gears for him that glow, right? And two of them, like my Sage Scroll, I have, which I need to do more refines on it to get it to 30,000, but, you know, that's that's 54,000 defense points right there. And then I go over to Sage Scroll, that's another 50,000, basically, you know what I mean? That's 100,000 defense points on my Naruto, you know? And then I go over to uh, Attributes, and, you know, I got which I deleted some of the bonds, so really I have 300,000 HP, and my power is at 2,800 instead of 2,600 with all my bonds, which is crazy, guys, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm not, I'm still not the most powerful, but, you know, I, I can hold my own, all right? So, you know, like I said, you know, there are plenty of characters out there that are really good, uh, you know, and there are, obviously there's going to be, as the game progresses, there's going to be times where some characters are more, or let's just say better than others, but as of right now, you know, if you want to get, if you want me to give you a good team, just an average team that most people have, I would say Minato, Sasuke, Naruto, Itachi, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Obito, and I see a lot of Jiraiya's. I, there's a Datara, and also Orochimaru, Garas, Kisame's, Shisui's. I see a lot of Shisui's. Um, black and white Zetsu's, of course. Obviously, um, Hadan. I see a lot of Hadans as well, and. Uh, I see Zetsu's, just the other one that you get when you upgrade the other two. And then I also see, so like if we go to my arena, I think first place right now is, yes, first place has, you know, uh, has, okay, yeah, so May in there as well. You know, this th this team's pretty, pretty busted in my opinion. But, you know, you've got, you know, Yamazuki. Yama's whatever the hell, he's in second place. I mean, look at his team. His is kind of similar but completely different than the number one guy. You see what I mean? 
everyone has their own way of doing things. A lot of these guys have your Minato, but he isn't a necessity, guys. He really isn't. I mean, look at this guy. He doesn't have a Minato, and he's 2.5 million powered, man, and he's pretty strong. He does not have a Minato, you know? Like I said, it's, it's a personal opinion at this point. See, my squad is going to end up being Sasuke, Naruto, Minato, Itachi, Tobirama, Hashirama. And then once I hit level 101, I'm going to put Madara in the middle. That'll be my team. You know, but it's a personal opinion. There's a couple guys in the Discord that are just doing a Uchiha team. That's going to be busted, guys. It's going to be OP. But all teams, if you set them up right, will be pretty good. You know, I got Gara and Sasuke, so, you know, that's a double shield. And on top of that, my Naruto does a crap load of damage. And then Minato gets a dodge. And then Itachi can use his, his ultimate to get somebody to 1% health. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different characters that have a team hit. So, you know... You have to have at least some type of combination, and it's all pretty much, like I said, just up to you. Uh, even with sealing beasts, you know, I sealed Shikaku to Gara just because I would feel weird watching the anime not having Shikaku on Gara. but you can seal him to anyone. If you really want to know what I feel about characters, if you go to pract character practice, you know, these guys, right... They're all character practice wise, but once you hit, once you hit, basically they're going to release an item. And let's just go to Kakashi here. Kakashi has a next gold version. You know, you go to gallery, you go to ninja, and then you got to go to Kakashi Hatake. Where are you? There you are. See his other version, he has two eyes. So what's going to happen is, is you're going to upgrade your character, which the max to upgrade your character in the character practice is plus nine. You upgrade your guy in the character practice to plus nine, and then later in a, f I, I would say at least a month, they're going to release, let's just say for Kakashi, they're going to release an item, and it's going to be called Obito's Right Eye. And what that means is once you get hot to, or, uh, Kakashi to plus nine, you can use that eye and 150 chakra to upgrade him to the next gold. And that'll be with all these characters that have that cool next gold look. Uh, I think um, uh, Sasuke's is a uh, will be his. So if you if you see um, like let's go to event dungeon really quick, and we'll go down to let's just do this guy. I'm pretty sure that Madara is on this one. So you see how Madara has that blue Susano around his body right now. Well, basically, once you get Nar or Sasuke up, he'll have a purple one of those. For his, that'll be what he looks like. He'll have that purple aura around him. But, you know, like I said, guys, I mean, I suggest getting characters that can upgrade to that second gold once you go to gallery and look at characters that can upgrade. As just because, I mean, obviously those guys are going to be a little bit more powerful than the others. But, you know, still, if you have enough defense on your characters and you refine every day, you know, your team's going to be good. There is no doubt about it, you know. So, you know, I hope you guys thought this video was helpful at all. You know, please subscribe if you want. You don't have to. I could care less. Like, hit a comment. Probably not going to answer your comments. Um, if I do answer your comments, I'm going to tell you to go to the Discord. Only because I'm trying to get this Discord with more people. You know, like I said, the community is great. Please join the Discord. I will put the link in the description again. But, you know, any questions, I'd rather you just go to the Discord rather than hit me with a comment because, you know, obviously I'm not popular enough to get all these comments a day, but it's just nice to have you guys come over to the Discord and talk and chat and just have a great time. But, you know, like I said, I will see you guys later. Please 
you know, just let me know if you liked the video or anything in the comments. But if you have any questions, go to the Discord, which I will put the link in the description below for the second time later.